people are more or less ready to begin, but I assume they connect, can connect. Seems so. Um, yeah. I think so. I, I'm um, recording and everything, so it's all good. Okay, so for our introduction today, I want it in two parts. First, what happened last session, and then second, what have you done between sessions? My god. Who wants to do what happened last session? Jake is excluded because he hasn't been here for ages. Yeah, he's, he's been away for forever. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's Jake, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jake. Jake's back. Back, back, back. from the uh, back from his trip around the world. Mm. Yeah, by around the world you mean like America down the road. In a balloon. Away. Yeah, like <laughs> in a yes, in a balloon. A balloon. You know, I would love to go around the world in eighty days or whatever that movie was. In a balloon, yeah. In a or, balloon, or, yeah. Or Eighty-eight <laughs> leagues under the sea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. So, uh, who who wants to do the? The, the first section. Like the anime, you can do the recap. All right, I'll do the recap. That's always right. hot on the main picture. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, all right. <laughs> last session. Bitch, I'm fabulous. The last session, we did some incredibly fancy stuff. We held the festival for the uh, Empress, um, where Raphael danced fabulously um, and got a hero point for his epic dance. Um. Lots of fireworks. It was great, uh, and we we had our own little meetings with the Empress. gave a, uh, gave her bits and pieces, talked to her, requested things of her, um, and such and so forth. And then, um, not entirely sure what happened directly after that, but I know that we went um, after a boat. That an antique boat, which turned out to have an imperial arm on it, which we stole, which was fantastic. Um, and then we went to a meeting with Laurel, with his, um, with his, with the person that he's up against in the Dock District. Um, and then he tried to assassinate us. Riff was trapped underneath a chandelier, and um, I only managed to cast one attack during the entire fight, which was great. Um, and then directly after that, the alarm went off as the orcs decided to invade the city, which uh, sucked. We fended off about 40 to 50 of them, um, dramatically reducing the amount of casualties to the civilian population. Um, then we decided, probably a good idea, that we go and check on the district hall. So we went and checked on the district hall, where um, Stonehammer was fighting an epic battle with the ogre um, chief of the orcs. Um, the ogre died, and we managed to drag, or Laurel managed to drag Stonehammer out using the bag of holding, um, which knocked him out. Um, he was cursed with uh, wounds that would not seal, so we took him to the Prince Bishop, which fixed him up eventually. Um, then we went back had a secret meeting. Um, Cordell uh, spied on us with our secret meeting. Um, so then we ended up making him create a crystal that stores all of his magical being and if we destroy it he has no more magic. So that happened. It got really depressing at the end but, but you know that tends to be a very uh, unique thing with our campaign at the moment. But uh, other than that, it was really good, and now it's on to the downtime. So, yeah. Pe people? Anybody? Yeah? Yeah? Why, why can we only see this room? I don't know. I don't know. Because I have determined as GM, you can only see that room. Yeah. Let's see here if I so, can... um... Am I loading something? It's going really... S like crashy and slow, slow for me again here. Let me see if I... I'm stuck at the last one and it's like using all of the resources right now. Yeah, continue. Alright. Who wants to talk about downtime? Oh, um, sure. So it has been very, very busy. Um, first of all, she learned to commune with her ancestors, so she has talked to a lot of different uh, emperor and empresses, and got a lot of interesting information from them, 
Um, am I gonna say it on the stream or I'm just gonna jump politely over it? That's up to you, I suppose. Um, you know, we're gonna talk about it in the meeting anyway, so I'll let it to the meeting. Yeah, there's, there's uh, a lot of things that happen And in she has uh, talked to the Prince Bishop and uh, got a lot of uh, information and stuff from him. She has helped Riff around. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of stuff. Basically, all she's done is talk. Uh, and she actually got a hero point. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud. Uh, worth mentioning, we did say last session that we were going to take one week of downtime. We ended up extending it. Yeah. Um, because Riff had a meeting with the wizard in the stronghold. Um, so we just said, okay, we're just going to fast forward until uh, just after that. So yeah, it was it was an extra week and a bit. So um, worth mentioning so the viewers don't get confused when days just go missing. Mm. It's not that we're bad at recording. It's it's a legit legitimate problem. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, I'm not. I don't know what everybody else has been doing. What? Oh, let's go to what the others has been doing. Yeah. Uh, I'll go. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I... Well, Ballard was also very busy during the downtime. In fact, he spent most of uh, this downtime actually out of the city, out of Emerycia. Oh. Um, yep. And... That that is going to remain untold that story, but um, basically, and then when I came back, I spent some time training with Raphael, and I now have the outflank feat, and uh, he does also, so we can do that, and that's fun. We're good at working together on opposite sides of enemies, and and then uh, I spent a lot of time with Laurel. We went out on a boat ride. On the sort of vengeance, or what, what was it? No, sort of no, no. The actual sort of boat. The kind of boat ride we took, uh, the sort of vengeance would sing. Oh, so it's an actual boat ride, not a yeah. boat, not a uh, dinghy. Extent because uh, Laurel found out that the Lord Mayor of the Dark District has a boat. Yep. Oh, so, so we went on a boat ride. So you just took the boat out for a ride. It's like yeah. we needed some holiday. <laughs> a pleasure barge. <laughs> a pleasure it's barge. It's like yeah. a little yacht. Like a little, little uh, gift. Yacht. Yeah, what yeah. was that? It's like 12, 12 is, people. Is the, main, is the main uh, Imperial City map available? Because that's the one that crashes the least for me and I can't see it in the... Yeah, um, that's a good point. There you go, I've re-enabled it for you. Well, um, can get out of here before yeah, this crashes little, again. Laurel spent most of his time working. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, no surprise there. Uh, making alchemy, alchemy things, dealing with the uh, new now two districts, facilitating repairs in the foreign quarter, and uh, and trying to hunt down remains of the thieves' guilds, which seems seems to be rather persistent actually, in the uh, in the dark quarter. Mm -hmm. Hard to find. Thinking maybe some of my guard aren't uh, as reliable as I thought they would be. But uh, what can you do? They seem very deep rooted. Yeah, well, we'll see. More and more should begin turning up any day, as uh, as backstabbing begins to hurt them. Mm. Yeah, uh, and then you went on a on a trip with. Uh, this is an old uh, token. Can someone move in uh, my? Where do you have one on like the main map? That would be correct. I don't. I think so, and that might be the last updated one. One second. Uh, where would? If it you... has seventy-seven h, h point hit points, it's. 77 is the correct number, correct amount of saying. The mm. Players, Raphael, this one is 66. Did we? Oh, maybe I, maybe I forgot to level up. Maybe you didn't level up. Oh, Jonas. Oh. Oh, I need to do that also. I can't find a leveled up one on any map, so... <laughs> okay, I'll do this quickly. Alright. Please continue. So, I'm, I'm guessing uh, Bollard and Raphael are going to be leveling up. So, um... Currently, you're all inside. You're all somewhere in a meeting room. I guess this meeting room. Yeah. You know, don't really have any other ones. Probably, yeah. Um, Raphael has probably got his legs up on the table. Clearly. Rakishly. So, um, what exactly do you have to discuss? What has happened? 
What are you? What? Is, what? Is, what have you planned for today? Um. Well, today, ladies and gentle beans, we are going to infiltrate the Imperial stronghold. Um. For everybody's information, that's where we believe the true Emperor lies, being tortured day in, day out. Um, this is the map of the uh, of the fort. It is beautiful, drawn in paint. The best tool for the job. Um, where we are looking to attack is here, precisely. We have no maps for downstairs, um, but that's where we're going. We're going into a secret basement of secrets. Um, I will point again where we are going so that the stream can see. Um, but yet, we're getting in via the Prince Bishop. He is helping us. We're going through in a wagon of cheese, um, being uh, supplied to the priest, who has a thing for cheese, apparently. Um, during uh, this uh, down uh, during the downtime, a couple days ago, actually, um, in game time, Riff went to the stronghold and talked to her colleague, the uh, the sixth rune, Imperial Arcanist of the sixth rune, who lives in the Mage's Tower, pretty much all day, every day. Um, so she she kind of knows what the place looks like. And she also has some blueprints, um, which, well, you know, don't don't really need to see because you 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 guys will see what it looks like, what it will look like anyway. Um, but other than that, we we have a sort of a plan, kind of, a little bit. Um, and really, we're gonna sneak in to this epic. Stronghold. We have bought a theatre group. A I would also like troop. to remember to give you a score of greater teleport because so we can't cast that one. Yes, yes. Uh, it would be the third of Nef, would it be, or is it supposed to be the first? Mm, no, this is the week after. This is. Um, what date is we supposed to be on Manakai? Because I haven't got the calendar set up right now. Let's see the date. Uh, the yeah, current okay. date would be the 11th of yep. Neth. So yep. add 10 days to my calendar. There you go. It is, it is the morning of the 11th of Neth. You've all just got, in, all got into the office after sleeping and or returning from travels. Mm -hmm. Depending on the person in particular. Yep. And you know what's going on. You know you, know you need to leave this afternoon. In a wagon full of cheese. Wagon mm. full of cheese. And from what you know, it's basically smelly blue cheese as well. Oh, yeah. It's like Perfect. all my first dates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is too is true. Anything that, yeah, as players, or, as, or in character, is there anything you wish to discuss? I imagine we have discussed this quite a bit between the... I, I, the last minute yeah. yeah, I... You know, I don't think there's nothing we haven't discussed. Except that Zoe will hand you that scroll of greater teleportation because she can't catch. Yeah. So add it in your. Well, let's review the. Plan. I've added. I've added. Start to finish. Sh sure. All right. Okay. So, um, from what I know. So, about two days ago, our hired uh, theater slash burlesque show showed up in the town outside the Rekeep, and I started setting up a fantastic party, the like of the what the town has never seen. We know that the keep has a bare bones crew at the moment. A lot of the troops are out patrolling and doing other stuff. Uh, and the crew they have are hopefully going to be enticed by the show outside and get out and sort of take a look at that. Uh, we've spent quite a bit of effort and money recruiting that theater group and, and cleaning up our tracks. So uh, the group thinks that they are being hired by the Empire officially. Um, and they don't even know who hired them, really, because we were in disguise and stuff. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that will draw out a lot of the guards, making the uh, fortress even more barren than it was before. Yeah. Um, and Riff, has, uh, Riff going in on the same day that the circus or theatre sh burlesque show thing showed up, um, the guards did seem very interested in the show. They did seem to want to go. 
Um, and according to the mage, they all want to go, apart from him. He, he's very much business. Um, he cares about everything to do with the stronghold and other works. So it's looking promising. Um, but yeah, after that, it's two days later they've set up, right? It's today that they're doing their show, correct? It is this evening. This evening. And we're going to get there about the same time that they, st or just after you they start. You should like arrive that. about one hour into the show, and the show is supposed to be very long, so... Okay, alright, that's fantastic. Um, so we're basically looking at the map, we're going to go through the north external gate, and we're just going to get taken straight into the ce uh, central inner gate, because apparently the priest really needs his cheese. I don't know why, I don't even want to know. Um, but he needs his cheese. We're going to be dropped off around here, um, which is right next to a door that is commonly used but not guarded directly, which is probably a very good place to go in, um, because right behind the door is a staircase. Because we need to go upstairs to go down a long, long ass hallway to go into a room, into a secret room, and down some stairs. Um, so that's uh, that's basically how we're going to do it. After that, we're just going to have to wing it. And once we get outside, it's great to teleport away. Um, that's basically. That's basically how it's going to work. Um, other than that, we don't really... We ha we have a few spells to use during this heist. Other than that, you know... I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. Um, or what we're going to have to do. There's going to be wards. So that's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Hopefully, we, Hopefully we can dispel them. Yep, I do have dispel magic, and Zoe has super clerical dispel magics, or oracle mm. dispel magics, so we're pretty set on dispelling magic, um, and, you know, I, I have a low level spell knock to dismiss arcane lock um, on any locked doors, so that's useful, and Laurel can pick locks, I presume, if he shrinks himself as well, who knows. Um, and then I have Invisibility Sphere for when we need to be invisible. Because I'm not casting Invisibility on everybody. So there's then, too, many, uh, too many slots. Then say we get in, we mm -hmm. do what we need to do, and we free this person. Yep. We got up the stairs and then out the building. Yep. The, so mom the moment we are out the building... Um, the only way we can really do that is head directly for the bridge, um, which is the closest um, way out, or we go out the door that we came in. If we go to the bridge, the moment we hit the bridge, the dimensional anchor is not in effect and we can teleport out. Mm -hmm. So we just we just need to get outside of the inner keep, that is, that is it. <sighs> All right, and then where do we, we teleport? We are teleporting. To Rifflin's basement. Well, to Madame Scarlet's house because technically I don't have an entrance apart from that house, which is still empty. Um, and I am not teleporting everybody into the basement directly because we will all die—a horrible, horrible, horrible death. Where did you say we were teleporting to? I cut out. Oh, Madame Scarlet's, Scarlet's old basement. Yeah, okay. which is warded to hell now. There is also. The matter of uh, it has come to light uh, for some of the group that there is a quite the amount of resources currently at the fort, uh, money uh, to be specific. Oh. You might want oh. to uh, look around Where? for that as well. Because nice. money. Laurel and I have bags of holding. Yeah, because and we I have bags well. of holding and <coughs> heisting. The, up. Exactly, heisting the vault uh, will certainly be a very. So we're playing payday two now. Yes. Um, payday no, pay medieval. Where's the vault? The yeah. This has DDS, interest. is the vault on the blueprints? No. No? God damn! I have no idea where it is. Rethrolin told Raphael something about the Empress's room. 
Yes, we we but have to go through the Empress's room. So he, so he knows where that hidden button in the room is. Yeah, yeah. We we have to go into the Empress's room to access the secret stairs to go to the basement. But is the vault in the basement? Yeah. Uh, well, it could be. I don't know. It's unknown. It's it's not in there. Um. Although I. There's no big arrow saying here will be here is the vault. Here's your. No. Hopefully. Um, hopefully we will get in fairly unmolested. Um, and I hope not molested. Be... Whoa! <laughs> and then we can, <laughs> we can sneak around a bit. And most guards we come across we can probably take out fairly quickly. And hopefully we can operate without the alarm going off. Yeah. I have one uh, scroll of uh, silence. Okay, mm -hmm. good okay. to have in an emergency. Well, you actually got given three scrolls of silence, actually. Free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, free. What oh, did you do with the other two? You were given three <laughs> scrolls of silence at the <laughs> lowest pass level available for them. What about the spell magic? I also got three of them. Yes. Oh, mm. I didn't Rotten. know I got three of. Uh, you got three of lots of stuff. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. I didn't get three tattoos, did I? Meals. No, you only got one of those. Does that mean we'll say you can only have one? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, that, that, I think that's pretty much the plan. Um, I think. I guess the, when we actually have the kid, and the money. Not and the money, the, hopefully. the money, hopefully. Hopefully uh, the money. But but then, I guess, the next part of the plan is to check and see what kind of guy he is. Yep, yeah, but we will... Like, even if he's wounded and stuff. What the, kind the of thing is, he is, we, uh, we need to take him to Rithalin's basement, and we need to keep him in the basement, because it is warded, and since he is a walking Imperial arm, he kind of needs to stay in the basement. So, mm -hmm. to be frank, he's probably trading one prison for another at this point. One that but doesn't torture him, though. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to torture him, and we're going to make it cozy. And Rithalin is mm -hmm. going to be there. A mother, really. <sighs> oh God. And, hey, um, Zoe's going to make make. Can Zoe move in with Rithalin while all this is going on? So we are two at that place. I mean, Madam Scarlet's house is empty. Yeah, that's true. You have basically two houses. Oral can grant. Well, actually, he can't anymore. Screw oh, that. Zoe can. <laughs> Zoe can. She's like Zoe's not Lord Mayor yet. Not yet. I'm sure Moonseer can be talked into allowing you to stay in the house. For uh, you know, healing reasons. Maybe it's diseased or something, so he needs to deal with it. Yeah, it's contaminated. Yes. Something of the cult's doing. Rithalin has has one of those diseases, you know. I'm back. Moonseer will lie for us. I'm back. Moonseer will lie. What? Moonseer, go with you. I thought he was too good Not for yet. us. Not yet. When Not the yet. election is finished. Okay. Okay. Right. He currently is the regent. Both side. Yeah. Um. It's actually that the current like. People in actual power of the districts are quite few in the city right now. We have several yeah. vacant spots. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would quickly like to say um, I did notice, Riff will say this in the meeting, that she noticed a very peculiar guard um, and she wonders if Bollard will know anything about this guard. Um, instead of the usual uh, like brown rusted red armor, rusted red uh, armor this soldier had pristine silver armor. Um, completely out of the ordinary. So, perhaps Bollard knows. Soldier? Yeah. Wait, no, which soldier? Uh, it, is, it was just a silver knight. I. That's oh, all we saw. Guy. Just some silver knight. But it was but very unusual compared to everyone else there. Yeah, everybody else silver. was in... Everybody else was in rustic red. It was the same armor, just painted silver. Like, exactly the same. Should I do a professional soldier check? This is a professional soldier check. Mm, it is. I know how to do that. soldiers have rusted armor? No, it, it's, it they looks... Look rusted. They have rust red, as in the colour. Rust red. Yeah, right. rust red colour. Well, Bollard, he considers... Um, there are rumours of what are known as um, Silver Knights, which are elite... Um, not soldiers, but elite tacticians. Oh. The silver armor guys are. Sorry, I keep cutting out my router acting up again. <laughs> the, uh, the, the silver knights are. They are rumored within the military to be elite tacticians, um, mm. trained under the empress herself. Strange. Palace libraries had no information on this person at all. So we should smash them, right? If, if we if we have to deal with them, we need to smash them. Yeah. Okay. Like the, the sapphire guards. The. <sighs> They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be the new sapphire guards, but they would possibly be the ones like directing where they should go. Yeah, yeah. These are like the commanders. Are they trained as sapphire guards? Do you think, or Not are they quite. like? No, the they... sapphire guards okay. like a special only city thing. Yeah, yeah. he's out yeah. here. He can't be. 
He I cannot beat Sapphire they, Guard. So, from, from what, from what, from what um, Bollard would know, um, he would think they are simply just a very, very high, high-ranking high generals, basically. Mm. And there was one at the Stronghold, oh. bizarrely. Um, also, if everybody looks at the map, um, there are guards in the walls of the central inner gate, both sides. Um, so how do we get out of the wagon full of cheese without well, being spotted? Invisibility sphere. Out of a wagon of cheese, but are they gonna like see cheese flying everywhere? Knife, we're careful. I, I, I assume <laughs> it's under the cheese, right? We, we don't spring out like out of a like a stripper cage. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, no. We get we get out carefully and slowly. Yes. Yeah, like we're, we're bottom thing. There is a false bottom, actually. Fantastic. There we go. We're gonna we do that. Drop out under the. Drop out. Part? Yeah, yeah. Basically, yes. Yeah. So we don't have to like climb out under a mountain of cheese. No, you, you, you can smell <laughs> the cheese. There's an unfortunate failure in our plan. You can yeah. smell cheese from the compartment, but you're not going to be like getting out of the cheese pile. Oh, that's okay. good. All right, yeah. yeah. So um, that that's pretty much how we're going to roll for our invasion of the Imperial Fort. The wagon is <sighs> waiting in a warehouse of Laurel's choice. Please Laurel's roll. choice. Yes, probably one in the gate district, I assume. Wherever, because you know, Laurel's, Laurel's, the only, Laurel's the one in charge, of course. But warehouses throughout the city, so... Yeah, we'll use one there. It's fine. One of the... Well, the one where the cheese is generally stored. <laughs> There's a few where cheese is stored. Cheese warehouse. Cheese warehouse. There's especially one in your own district where cheese is stored. I imagine. We have, like, all the all the tradesmen. I bet that's... Yeah, let's go with that cheese. Smelly. I bet that's especially smelly cheese. It is many it's cheese. Like the hardcore. This is the hardcore shit. Yeah. Apparently, like the this kind of cheese that the French scoff at. <laughs> this uh. Laurel thought about using it as a splash weapon. <laughs> <laughs> splash cheese. No yeah. save nauseated for ten rounds. <laughs> By the way, uh... all, all intricate knowledge of brewing and alchemy would believe it, even believe you might want nose pegs for the ride. Yeah, yeah. Um... So he has also got uh, borrowed fortune from the prince bishop. Ah, yes, yes. Fortune. Oh, right, yeah. Borrowed fortune. Basically, allows her to gain a reroll in exchange for her next roll being bad. Yeah. Oh. Alright. So it's like a last it's ditch it's attempt. It's basically one you spell. Yeah. The next thing you do is like try to punch Bullet in the shoulder. <laughs> Why would you do that? To waste to get rid of the bad wall. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of the bad roll. You meta gaming the system. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to roll on something. I don't know. I just need to do something. Punch ball out. Okay. I check if the ceiling's a dragon. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, the ceiling is a dragon, in fact. Oh my God! Run. Anyway, anything else? I I don't think so. Um, there's a there's a fair few people, but I I am worried that we're actually gonna encounter those, so who knows. Did you have your objectives, it seems, which is... Do, do you have to be so gross, Jonas? Yes. You. I'm sorry. Jake! <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue, let not yeah, now. yeah. Not now. Okay, alright, into the wagon. Butter, not now. Into the wagon of cheese. Away!